HVN is high value nutrition and so we, we have to work right from almost primary production, uh, working with growers and food manufacturers, right through kind of basic strategic research and laboratories to food companies, clinical trials, to kind of hospitals and clinicians. Asia is of course a critically important market for the New Zealand food industry. It's very important for the New Zealand economy. So it's important that the high value nutrition challenge really are aware of many of the, of the challenges of food and diet research and the requirements of consumers in Asia so that we can help support businesses in New Zealand. And that's why we have a, a, a consumer part of our programme that's really looking at what consumers in China want. We work on aspects of both the important similarities and also differences in, in Asian consumers in terms of their metabolic physiology compared to Caucasians and such like. Food and health research, to my mind, is one of the most complicated types of research you can do because, again, it stretches from uh, growers right the way through to clinical research. Now, if we look at a, a drug development, you're talking about one compound and you're dealing with one disease and such. Food is such complex. It consists of a myriad of chemicals and stuff that we're all eating every day and they're all having very complicated physiological effects. And so the science is really complicated. And what is really great about the high value nutrition is that it's supporting business, but it's doing really high quality science and a very complicated type of science. And we're using all the cutting edge technologies. So in addition to supporting business, I think we're making progress in the actual science, which we're sharing with the world. I joined the team about a year ago and it's about halfway through the challenge. And I think what has really impressed me is that we have what we call the priority research programs. And these are six international quality scientists working different areas. What has really impressed me over this year is how we've all come together. And they're working really well together and there's a lot of added value to be had. When you're dealing with issues like we are in developing new foods with added health benefits, you need that longer term program. So I think it's huge credit to the New Zealand government to have the foresight to be funding in this nature. And then it's kind of unique in that it's bringing together people across those different disciplines, but in particular it's this collaboration between academic scientists and the food industry. You know, the food industry is how academic science is translated. I think unless we work closely with industry, we won't get our really high quality science translated to the benefit of consumers in New Zealand and to the benefit of New Zealand food and beverages businesses for the export and hence to benefit for consumers elsewhere in the world.